uh, Orange County, home to Disneyland, the Angels, and 180 million years of evolutionary history. Bet you didn't know that, huh? From our Jurassic brachiopods down to our Pleistocene horses, Orange County has been home to a strange menagerie of weird and wonderful creatures. Hello? Hey. Have you never seen a Desmostillion tooth before? Do you know what a Desmostillion is? He doesn't know what it is. Okay. You know, just, just come here. When it comes to Desmostillions, we honestly don't know a lot about them, except that they're an extinct order of marine mammals that evolved their own unique foraging lifestyle. How do we know that? Well, if I could just find it, I could show you. Ah, there it is. Now allow me to introduce you to Doxy. She's a Paleoparadoxid, a family of the Desmostillions, and she's the largest Paleoparadoxid found so far in Orange County. Heck, maybe even the world. Now, if you look in her mouth, you can see the evolutionary trait that separates these bees from all the rest. And those would be the teeth of the Desmostylians. Now, as I said, these strange looking chompers are unique to only the Desmostylians. In fact, that's where they get their name. Desmos meaning bonded, and stylus meaning pillar. As for eating plants, it was isotopic analysis of their teeth that revealed that they did, in fact, forage on marine plants. So, seeing that these guys are so unique, where exactly do they fit in in evolutionary history? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Since their discovery in the late 1800s, Desmostylians have gone through a taxonomic odyssey, so to speak. Because of their strangeness and the small amount of research actually done on them, Desmostylians have been placed, removed, and replaced into many different animal classes. Like the artiodactyls, like this hippo here, the pinnipeds, which are the seals, sea lions, and walruses, and heck, some scientists even thought they belonged to the monotremes, like the platypus. Can you imagine a giant egg of a Desmostylian? That would be cool. But after a long journey, it is now mostly accepted that they belong to the Aphrotheria and are closely related to the Proboscideans and the Sirenians. Now, I hope you learned a lot about my personal experience with Desmostylians. I mean, there's just something really unique about them in their evolutionary history. From their teeth all the way down to their unique lineage, there is really nothing else like them in the world of paleontology, and you never know what other kind of secrets they may be holding. Where was I? Oh, Orange County, home to a strange menagerie of weird and wonderful creatures. From the Jurassic period onwards,